All right, Shalom. Uh, first off, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Acha Kudash, double honors to our apostles, the elders of GMS, um, to the Lek, doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Uh, this is Nazar Khad, GMS Precepts here. Um, real quick, this is um article here from Fox News. Um, this is, um, as you can see, it says Mitch McConnell's Kentucky home vandalized with graffiti. Okay, with the words, where's my money? All right, and this is a few days after Nancy Pelosi's house was vandalized as well. Um, actually, a few, I think it says a few hours, okay? Um, matter of fact, this other article I was reading, it said that. It says, um, breaking news, Mitch McConnell, this is from uh, uh, DailyMail.com, a, a, a UK um, uh, website. It says, Mitch McConnell's Kentucky home is vandalized with Where's My Money? Spray painted on the front door. Days after he blocked $2,000 stimulus checks and hours after Nancy Pelosi's San Francisco home was also plastered with graffiti. All right. So whether you people realize it or not, this is prophecy, man. All right. This is prophecy happening in real time. All right. There's a lot of people that still don't believe the Bible is real. They believe it's, uh, you know, it's not authentic. This is these the, the, the scriptures are the are the, are the words of the most high the words of Yahweh, right and they stand true and time and time again this is why the scriptures speak about diligently seeking the lord diligently hasting the day of the lord how do you hasten the day of the lord okay which apostle uh, uh tahar deemed this is the year of 2021 hasting the day of the lord hasting the return of Yahweh shai part of doing that is looking for prophecies man looking for spiritual breadcrumbs and this is one of them where you're going to have, like the scriptures say, I'm going to go into it in, in a minute, to, uh, uh, Second Ezra's, uh, uh, the book of Ezra's 15 and 16, 15 chapter, 16 chapter. The, that's part of the reason why the, uh, uh, that whole book, all right, was removed um, from the Bible by way of the Bible Destruction Group. I believe it was in 1776, all right? This is the part of the reasons why it was removed from the Bible because... It has a lot of inf information. It has a lot of prophecy. It exposes who Edom is. It speaks about the end of the world. Okay? So, um, we, like, those two chapters, for the past years, me personally, and as well as other brothers, have been going through a lot. Why? Because they talk about things like this, right? This is sedition among men. Like I said, I'll get it in a minute. Um... Mitch McConnell's Kentucky home vandalized with graffiti. Where's my money? The vandalism referenced McConnell's refusal to approve $2,000 stimulus checks. Um, let me read a little bit of this. McConnell's Highland home in Kentucky was discovered Saturday morning with messages like, where's my money? <laughs> Mitch kills the poor and expletives, among other messages, which could be seen in photos posted online. I believe, yeah, this is Mitch McConnell. The nigga motherfucker, he got the, like, the turkey neck thing going on. Let's see. His uh, pictures <laughs> of his house. Here it is. Um, I cannot zoom in. Damn. <laughs> Fuck Mitch. <laughs> hey, it's funny. That's funny. Um, here it is right here. Mitch kills the poor. Okay. Where's my money? You know. This is uh, this is prophecy, man. Let me go back to. Let me actually let me get out of here. This is prophecy, okay? Um, let me go straight to it. This isn't going to be a long video. Um, right, so this is Second Ezra 15, I believe, right? 15, verse 16. Um, it says, for, the, for there shall be sedition. Um, I'm going to go to the point, right? It says, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power, right? So let's look up the word sedition. I did already. Google dictionary. It says conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. That's what's happening right now. All right, the people are fighting again. Let me go. Oh, damn. Let me get those. Actually, this has a picture of it. The people are rebelling against authority, man. Okay, they're spray painting. They have no regard for authority. Why? Because they're spray painting pictures 
talk oh, they're spray printing his um his house talking about where's my money Mitch kills the poor that's it, it, that sounds like uh, uh conduct or speech inciting people to rebel rebel against the authority sedition is an over conduct such as speech or and organization that tends towards rebellion against the established order that's what's happening right now you have people that are against the government okay you have people that are against vaccines okay you have a lot of people so so much so that they said they're going to put 200 they're going to spend 250 million dollars on a campaign to promote vaccinations in a good light basically it's a is is brainwashing they're going to bra brainwash the public or people to 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 for for them to think that va vaccines are good okay so you're not going to see anything about vaccines being bad from from the media if you search on it on google or youtube you're going to it's not going to be on the top of uh the suggestions that they give you they're going to try to put a lot of effort into tricking the people that vaccines are good all right sedition often includes subversion or of a constitution and in, and incitement of discontent toward or rebellion against established authority and that's what's that's what's going on right now all right against th th this isn't mitch mcconnell let me see i mean let me just i could just do this right see if they show his face there, there he goes that's mitch mcconnell right here this motherfucker you got like the turkey chin going on let me see anyway it don't matter what this damn devil looks like he's a devil um sedition man so this this uh Scripture is coming to pass, man, which, again, validates the, the scriptures. It validates the Bible is real. It, it And these are spiritual breadcrumbs that the Most High left for us, man. Let me close up with this. Second is the ninth chapter. He answered me, then said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, what are the signs? Those visions. Habakkuk, the second chapter, says those visions are speaking. And how do you measure the time diligently? You constantly search and look for prophecy. Hence, Mitch McConnell's house, Nancy Pelosi's house being vandalized by by uh, people that are committing sedition among their authority, man. Okay? And this is just one of many. Okay? Sedition among men. All right. Um, I think that's it. Lord willing, you brothers are edified. Uh, until the next show, Shalom.